Don't lift with your back. Use your legs. Be sure to bend at your knees, never at your waist when picking something up. The reason for this is to keep the disc spread evenly across the vertebrae so the disc won't be pinched due to bending of the back. To significantly reduce the forces on your lower back. Lift using your leg muscles. And improper lifting techniques can, over a period of time, lead to degeneration of these discs. This condition is permanent and can have painful and lasting effects. There are 24 discs between vertebrae and the spine that could be injured by an improper lift. More than likely the injury resulted from a lot of lifts over time and that last lift was just the straw that broke the camel's back. Tips for lifting safely. Keep your back straight, push your buttocks out, and use your legs and hips to lower yourself down to the object. Our policy says that no worker should ever lift more than 50 pounds without mechanical assistance or the help of another worker. If you've ever had a safety briefing at work, you've probably heard, don't lift with your back. Or maybe a personal trainer has told you not to lift with your back. Another way of saying this that I've heard many times, you don't want to stress your back. Every time I'm walking on Tim Strength, I see people deadlifting from various heights, lifting atlas stones, doing farmer's carries, picking up Hoosevelt stones, all things that require the use of your back. In fact, some movements require that you lift the weight predominantly with your back. So because an object like this that's really big or really far in front of your body, you have to keep your hips up so that you can remain over the object to lift it. And you have to lift it with pretty straight legs. So if John was to sit his butt down, sit down low John, sit your butt down, you're gonna put yourself behind the weight. So you have to lift your hips up and get over the stone and lift it with your back. So we're joined by a guest in this video, Dr. Mike Ray, who's a doctor of chiropractic and rehab clinician. He has his own clinic in Harrisburg, Virginia, and he works with Barbell Medicine doing remote care and consultations. So he's gonna answer some questions like, why are we told to avoid lifting with our backs? And more importantly, is it okay to lift with our backs? Why are we told to avoid lifting with our backs? This is a great question. Often this idea of not using our backs is born out of fear that we may injure our backs. Many have the belief our backs are inherently weak or fragile and can't handle being loaded. Unfortunately, such narratives are often reinforced by healthcare professionals advising that lifting in a particular manner that loads the back leads to degeneration and pain during life. These ideas lead folks to not using their backs and becoming fearful of particular activities like resistance training. In addition to these beliefs, often folks assume flexing your spine implies using your back, and this has been widely considered less than ideal technique and usually leads folks to making claims that it would be injurious for the individual at some point. However, when we look at the data on these topics, we find folks tend to flex their spine in varying amounts based on task demands, whether it's deadlifting, squatting, or even swinging a kettlebell, the low back is flexing at some point in the range of motion for these movements, sometimes near max. What's even more interesting is even when we try to cue someone to not do this, the effect is likely minimal, and folks will usually adopt their own preferred way of completing a task that is most comfortable and allows for best performance for them. By and large, low back pain appears to be a normative aspect of being a human that most of us will experience at some point in our lives. But our desire to explain why low back pain happens and how to prevent the experience leads to these erroneous beliefs. Instead of focusing on the why, often we can look forward to how to move past the experience by staying active to tolerance, avoiding bed rest, and not unnecessarily worrying about the experience or how we are moving. Interestingly, those with low back pain do tend to move differently by appearing to adopt a movement pattern or posture similar to what is often recommended by clinicians in order to quote unquote protect their back. It appears that people do not trust their backs and wish to protect them and in doing so actually do the opposite by avoiding activity that uses their backs. Is it okay to lift with your back? Yes, and we often do whether we realize we are or not. Ideally, folks are moving about their days being active during daily living with little thought to their backs. Specific to resistance training, ideally we are building a large foundation with which to draw from for loaded movements, developing resilience along the way. Our backs are not fragile, and there is not one perfect way to move. However, having false beliefs like we discussed in the first question and then constraining activity or movement because of those beliefs can certainly have a negative impact on someone 
We often see this hard line of thinking in persistent pain situations. Hopefully this has been helpful for you. If you would like more information, we have a podcast specifically on low back pain. Barbell Medicine also released another podcast with Greg Lehman, who does a deep dive on this topic of flexing the spine. If it's a risk factor, is it protective? Does it improve performance or hurt performance? I highly recommend checking that one out. We also have an article on our website at barbellmedicine.com specifically about the misinformation as it relates to pain and movement. If you're dealing with low back pain and you're not sure how to move forward and get back to the activities that you want to be able to do, you can reach out to us. Just go to barbellmedicine.com, click on the coaching tab, and complete our intake paperwork for a remote consultation with one of our pain and rehab team members. Thanks for listening. You guys can check out Mike on Instagram at Michael underscore Barbell Medicine. If you guys want to learn a little bit more about pain, injury, and technique, other than the resources that Mike already listed, I have a couple videos you can watch. Thanks for watching this video, and always remember, Tread on time!